Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today I am going to talk about all of the books that I want to read for whatever you want a thon. <laughs> So Whatever You Want a Thon or Whatever a Thon is hosted by Maddie from Book Browsing Blog. I will of course leave all of her information below but it's kind of been doing the rounds so I'm sure you will have heard of her. I'm going to be going through all of the prompts and then tell you the book that I am hoping to potentially read for it. Huh. There are 16 no, 15 or 16 prompts, not including like the bookish creators' favourites. Yeah, I hmm, don't see that happening, but I do have a book for each prompt because that's, that's just what I'm like. And do I double up? No, I could double up. I haven't really gone through and figured out what books I have on the list which could lend themselves to another prompt on the list yet. I'm sure I could do that, but um, I just thought it'd be fun. Just thought it'd be fun to create a list of all the books that I want to read for the prompts. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first prompt is a cover which reminds you of a pride flag. So initially I was going to go for The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. On the cover the tagline is can their love of books and pop music save the world which sounded really interesting. But what mainly grabbed my attention about this book was I heard that it had a demisexual main character or at least a demisexual character which I find really interesting because I don't think I've read a book with a demisexual character and I think that would be so interesting to read. As for the pride flag I'm pretty sure that the blue purple pink is the bisexual flag um, so that's what I was planning to read and then I got this through the door. <laughs> Uh, this is Rainbow Grey. It's by Laura Ellen Anderson. This is a middle grade and I am actually on the middle grade monarchs team which I chose for no other reason than I, I chose randomly because I didn't know which team to choose because I read all of the genres <laughs> pretty much. But yeah it's got this and then I got the ones with the rainbow edges and it just it just seems too perfect not to use for this prompt and so I'm really struggling because I really 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 want to read this one I think this one is a sci-fi but it's a middle grade it's got rainbows and it just seems too perfect so I haven't quite decided which one I want to read but either of these two I feel like would fit this prompt. The next prompt is to reread a comfort read and this one I struggled with a little bit because I do reread books but I don't have a comfort read like gonna be straight up I guess Harry Potter was one of those but I'm not gonna pick that for this prompt. Part of me was tempted to reread Red, White and Royal Blue um, but I literally just finished that this weekend for the first time so I was like I don't think that counts <laughs> um, so instead I have chosen hmm, um, you probably can't really tell what this is. <laughs> uh, this is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.L. Lewis. I lost the dust jacket when I was very, very young. Um, but as you can probably tell, um, I've reread it to death. Plus it's quite short. I think it might count as a middle grade. I Can you tell how long I've had this book? Honestly, I've damaged it to death. I'm surprised it's still going. The next prompt, the third prompt, is a five star prediction and I also kind of struggled with this one because I don't predict what ratings I'm going to give my books, not even five stars. I know a lot of people do and that's absolutely fine. I just can't look at my books and think you're going to be a five star read because I don't know. <laughs> I tend to go into any of my books with like an open mind, which I'm sure all people do and it's just like a fun thing to do, but I really, really struggle with it. Um, I've never been able to do like a five star predictions video because I'm just like, I don't know if you're gonna be five stars. <laughs> but so what I decided to do was I decided that if I've given the first book in a series five stars, then there's a chance that the second one might be a five star as well. Ignore the logic, I'm just trying to work my way around picking a book <laughs> for this. So in my head, I had two off the top of my head, I had the Ladies Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. I read the first book a few years back and I gave it five stars. 
Um, then the other series was Stalking Jack the Ripper. Um, it's very rare for me to give like the first book in a series I think five stars as well and those are the only two I could really think of. Now, now it's very rare for me to do that. Years back, I probably would have given it just five stars like yeah cool I like that five stars don't tend to do that anymore. In any case, the book that I decided to go for is Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry Maniscalco. I have been wanting to continue this series for so long and it just seems like the perfect excuse to carry on with the series. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and I'm hoping it's gonna be five stars. Like I'm just, I love the first one so much. And I hope and pray I love this one just as much. For an author's debut book, I am going with Solitaire by Alice Oseman. I read Radio Silence, I Was Born For This and Loveless earlier this year. They were all four star reads for me. I think um, one of them was a mid four star, one of them was a high four star and the other one a low four star. So I'm really interested as to how I'm gonna feel about this book, like her debut book. And what I'm really excited about is I have her two, where are they? Oh, right here. I have her two like novellas, I guess. Um, I don't know what order to read them in because I do have the Heartstopper novels as well. And so once I finish this and maybe those two, or maybe not, either way, I can start the Heartstopper series, which I'm so excited about because everybody freaking raves about them, especially since the fourth book one came out everyone's been raving about them and um everyone says that the fourth one is so so good and potentially even their favorites in the series so i really really want to get to it so yep i that's what i'm hoping to read if i get to this prompt <laughs> the fifth prompt is out of your comfort zone um i also struggled with this one because i read any genre like if something piques my interest i will read it i really don't care what genre it is i don't care if it's fantasy, contemporary, thriller, detective fiction, horror, sci-fi, um, magical realism, historical fiction. <sighs> like, I don't care. If it piques my interest, I will read it. So Out of Your Comfort Zone was a little bit difficult for me because I like reading audiobooks. I haven't read many yet, but I have enjoyed reading graphic novels. I recently read a manga <laughs> um, but like I've never had like an aversion to it I just haven't picked it up um so out of your comfort zone was really difficult um but I did think of a couple one of them is Snow Like Ashes by Sasha Rash it's not so much what the book is about because I can't remember or the genre I think this one is out of my comfort zone now because it's just been on my shelf for so long. Like, aside from the book that I'm currently reading for a different readathon, this is the oldest book I can think of on my TBR. I don't know, I don't have like a pull to it, I guess. So yeah, there's this one, or, and it's the one that I kind of want to read more, and it's Death Knight. Read a manga for the first time earlier this month, and I enjoyed it, and I've always been intrigued by this series. I think a friend of mine, she loved this series and she really loved, I guess, the movies and stuff like that. And she she told me about this live action one once and I was really enjoying it. I got about halfway through and it stopped working. So I never got to finish it, which I'm still to this day really sad about. I literally recently got this. It will be coming up in a book haul. Like that's how new it is. There are four books on this list which will should be coming up in a book haul soon um, and this is one of them. So that's how new this is but it's one that's intrigued me for years and I just I would really love to get to it so those are my options for if I get to this prompt. The next one is hauled in the last year. Yep so I could read one of the others and if I wanted to like double up or something but I kind of want to read the flop the plot volume two. Um, I read volume one earlier this year, I think, and then pre-ordered this one because I, I left me on a cliffhanger <laughs> and I really wanted to know what happened. I don't know whether this is a graphic novel or if it's a bind up of comics because it has like the issue covers, if that makes sense, like at the back. So I don't know whether it's a graphic novel or if it's a bind up of comics, but I 
really want to read it. Yeah, I think this is one that I would go for for haul in the last year. The next one is an indie or self-published book and I had two in mind for this one as well. The first one was The Saviour's Champion by Jenna Morrissey. I'm just telling you everything I've hauled in this video apparently. But that one is very, very thick. <laughs> so I think what I'm probably going to go with is A Strange Hymn by Laura Thalasser. I read Rhapsodic uh, earlier this month or late last month or something like that. And if you watched that video, you will know I was very, very surprised by how I felt about it. But very, very much want to continue with the series. And yeah, I'm fairly certain that these are indie or self-published books so I think that's the one that I'm going to go with. The next prompt is PIC representation and for this one I'm going with The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. I've been wanting to read this one for a while. Everybody raves about this book and it does sound really good and something else that intrigues me about this book as well is I'm pretty sure that Dean Atta is Cypriot and I think it would be really cool to read a book by an author who is Cypriot or part Cypriot. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting to this one. The next two prompts on this list are to fit a TBR game of a bookish creator or, and sorry, and another prompt is Pulpic. Um, I, one, I'm going to wait for TBR games to start coming out and then I'll pick a prompt and for Pulpic, I have no idea. I have no idea uh, what books to even put in a prompt at the moment. I think I will wait until it gets close to the time and then I'll put one up potentially. The next one is Buddy Read and I joined three groups for Buddy Read. Uh, one of them is Once and Future Witches, which I do not own, but I want to own. Um, another one is Saga because I haven't read it and I would very much like to. And another one is one that I have read, but it's the Every Heart Doorway series. But yeah, I don't know which ones I'm going to read. Hopefully I'll read all of them. Like I said, I've joined the list for all of them. That was possibly a mistake. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really want to get to these ones. Like I said, these ones would be a reread, but I think it'd be really cool to reread all six consecutively. I haven't done that yet, so. That would be fun and this is just a series that I would really love to start and see if I enjoy because everybody raves about it. <laughs> the next prompt is disability or mental health representation and for this one I have chosen Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. In this one we follow a woman named Chloe who is suffering from a chronic illness so I think this fits that prompt quite nicely and again it's a book that everybody has been raving about. Not just this book but this series everybody raves about it and I'm just like I need to see what this is about and I'm very excited to get to it if I get to it I've got to stop saying that the next prompt is bookish bookish creators faves list and this one isn't one of the hosts it's anybody across any platform Instagram YouTube book talk like anything and I think the book had to be on a recent list as well so I was looking through Serena from A Wandering Mind and she did uh, an Are These Books Still Favourites video and she did it in I think December of 2020 and one of the books on there which I really really want to read is Daisy Jones and the Six. If Serena is watching this and this is no longer a favourite please let me know I will of course pick something different but I'm pretty sure this one was on that list and it was still a favourite and I really want to get this this one I really enjoyed Evelyn Hugo I think I could potentially love this book because as far as I've heard it's to do with like a band and I'm not sure if the band is like rock or punk or like uh, something like that but that's stuff that I love like that's music that I love so I think I could potentially really love this book. The next prompt is cover with your team colour. Like I say, I joined the Middle Grades Monarchs team. You're probably thinking, uh, Nicole, you've got like two middle grades on your list. Why did you join the Middle Grade Monarchs? I hadn't figured out my TBR at that point, to be completely honest with you. But in fairness, of all the books that I've chosen, where would you have put me? Where? 
what no, genuinely where would you have put me because i still don't know <laughs> I am hoping to potentially read a couple of other middle grades this month, but let's not get me ahead of myself. <laughs> um, but for this prompt, our team colour is orange, and so I have chosen When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandhya Menon. And for this one, her, I think her drink is orange, her coat is orange, the spine is orange. So this is the book that I have chosen for that prompt. And the final prompt is the last letter of the book that you know yes okay so the last prompt is the last letter of the book that you read is the first letter in the book that you read the last letter in the book that you read is the last is the first letter of the book that you'll you get it you get it oh yeah so it obviously depends on what order i read these books in if i get to all of them Let's just say I read them in order. And the last one that I read is When Dimple Met Rishi. It would be I. So the books that I would choose for that are Ink and The Inheritance Games. And you're probably like, Nicole, Ink has an orange cover. Why aren't you choosing that? Well, because if I do read them in order, trying to find a book for K, it's not impossible, but it's really, really hard. Yeah, like I say, or The Inheritance Games either or I don't know yet I'm not counting the but yeah if I get this far these could potentially be on the list so that is it that is everything that I would love to be able to read for whatever you want to film not including the bookish greatest favorites because do I have a list of the favorites that I would like to read of course I do it does include the way with children which is on this list it does include Get to Life Chloe Brown, which is on this list. It also includes Saga. Um, so not too bad, but I would love to read a couple of the middle grades that uh, Gavin's put on there. Kind of want to read Shadow Black because I read Spell Slinger earlier this month. I didn't love it, to be completely honest with you, but I'm willing to give the second one a go, so it's a possibility. Um, oh, The Black Flamingo is, all, is also on there. So there's a lot of books that are on there anyway, but there's a lot which I would love to read. And huh, also, this does not include my Beat the Book Trope TBR game. I'm really hoping that I can get some of the books on here on that TBR game um, for the roles. I don't know how that's gonna work out, but we're gonna give it a go. But that is it that is everything that i have to talk to you about today please let me know if you are taking part in this readathon what team you're on what books you're thinking to read for it i would love to hear from you if you enjoyed this video please feel free to like comment subscribe all that fun stuff thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one bye